Rolling? All right. No crack because I already cracked it open and I stuffed up the lines before, so cheers. Ah, holy wreck. Man. So today I'll be running you fellas through uh, some of my favourite pieces from Taiku 2.0 collection that is coming out on October 25th. So um, yeah, here it is pretty much. So the first thing we got... Oh, I actually didn't plan on doing this first, but we're going to. First thing we got is the Mangopare, which is the hammerhead shark, and it's in a singlet. This is actually a medium size, but I'll probably wear, I mean, this is a large, but I'll probably wear this as a, as a medium. I kind of like that tight fit, eh? I've been gymming heaps, trying to get swole. Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> obviously the mongol putty looks beautiful in there, in this one. Um, I really love the design of the mongol putty that the boys did. They integrated the patterns really well with it. Um, and the main reason behind, uh, you know, the art of this collection is to relate it to more surfing instead of, it's obviously about the ocean, but kind of related to how, you know, we do our turns and stuff in the water. For an example, if we got a new bucket hat. Pretty tough, pretty mean bucket hat. I'll whack it on me. Yeah, pretty mean bucket hat, but in the um, in the designs of them, they're like the puhoro, how they, you know, they turn and then they come back, but as they come back, they go kind of jagged a little bit, like a clip, and that's meant to represent, you know, us doing a turn on the wave after, you know, you do a cut back, and then you come around and then you kind of hit the lip. So I thought that was pretty cool how um, my and Henare Brought that into uh, this collection. My phone's going off for ratchet. Um, we also got another hat. We got this one, just a trucker hat. Um, I feel like these two hats are gonna go off in summary. Touch season's gonna go mad. These things are gonna go quick, so you better get in there quick. But um, next up, we got, oh, I already did that one. Idiot. Um, next up, <clears throat> we got this one, which is pretty much the same as what I'm wearing now. So this piece, when we were planning for uh, this collection to come out, we were running through a bunch of ideas, but nothing really stuck to mind until we, um, I actually was in the Farenui and a tongue and I looked up at the at the panels on the inside and I was like, wow, those look beautiful. Is there any way we could integrate that into our collection? I just love the flow of the just the puhoro everywhere and the mangopare, which is obviously super relative to the moana and the ocean. So we're stoked to integrate that into this collection. And I love how it's the panel going across. So these are the two colours actually for this t-shirt. Um, so yeah, pretty mean. The next one, we got like the marakiho, the face, which is pretty mean. I really love the, uh, the stitching on the outside and stuff, the white stitching. I think it makes it stand out pretty good. Nice semi oversized fit compared to the other ones are like pretty tight on the arms. Um, yeah, I feel like wearing this with like black pants is pretty gangster. Rock the all blacky. Pretty mean. Um, the next one we got is this one's similar to the the design on the hat at Quicksilver, but we needed a white tee, so we got her on this one. I feel like a bunch of skaters will probably wear this one, eh? Or boys going out to town or something. But yeah, we'll move on. Uh, we got, oh yeah, this one's pretty mean. Quite like this one, pretty simple, super quickie like. You know, nothing crazy. Quite like the color, but it's got a, the mean back print. The meanest back print. 
Yeah. I just like the color of this one and how it looks. Sorry, my bloody folding skills aren't that great. That's why they come out like crinkle cut chips. But all good. This is a mean one. So this is the tank top uh, with the poo holder design on the back. This borrow design. I actually love this, love this one. Gonna be mean in summer. I feel like this is gonna be, this and the bucket hat's gonna be the, the festival fit. All the cuzzy's gonna be rocking these. Um, same one. This one's the same one, but as a t-shirt as well, so. You got variety. Uh, this year we actually got volley, um, the volley shorts. Um, and we got them in the kid sizes too. So this is the kid size one. And the same design that's on the, um, the bucket hat as well, which is pretty mean. They've also got this in a black color as well, which is gangster. I use these all the time, um, you know, exercising, training, but also just cruising around swimming and that. Super light, the material's mean. It's like, feels like those Nike shorts, you know, they, they gangster. So they cracked it with that one. <clears throat> then we got the Anti Slayer 2.0. She's uh, already been used a couple times, but um, yeah, I love the tiny cool design going down the, the sides of the shirt. I think it just looks really subtle, but strong at the same time. So yeah, that one's pretty mean. But then our main pieces is we're doing a rerun of the Marakeo boardies because they did so well last time. They just speak for themselves. They're pretty unreal. I had so many people hit me up if I had any spares to sell or give out and I, we had none. Like literally we had none. So we're doing a rerun and we got these in kid sizes as well. So, um, yeah, which is pretty cool. We also got them in like in a 40 and 42 as well for the big uncles. That was probably our main feedback for, um, for us was just the sizings to be bigger because I forgot all the cousins are pretty solid back home. But yeah. I wear these boardies everywhere, all year round. Gonna be sick seeing little kids wearing them. But this is the main one. This year's boardies. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. These are tough, eh? Look at the panel. These are mean. Same concept as when I looked inside the marae and seen the panels on the inside and I just thought, wow, well, it would be mean if we could integrate that into our corridor and on these bodies. These are also a longer length than the, um, the marakeo bodies. These ones are slightly shorter. So we base these off the satin bodies, so they're extra long length, kind of going back to the old school 90s. Got the back zip as well, which is pretty mean. But then we also added some tiny core on the inside, which I thought was a nice touch as well. Um, yeah. The material in these shorts, they look like the old school shorts, but they're actually super light and stretchy. Like the inside is unreal. Um, I wear these, I never get rash in these. I wear these running, bloody training, playing touch dropping the shoulder on the old man all the time. But yeah, these are our main ones, so fellas better get in quick because it's gonna be running out super quick. So yeah, thanks these for watching. Um, October 25th, go and cop some. Ming, cheers, thanks.